Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, sorry, no video yesterday. Had a crazy busy day trying to get some stuff done for my shop. So, happens sometimes, you know. So we have a whole pile of goodies here. And we're going to make some pockets for our Alice in Wonderland uh, entirely bonkers video. Or I mean, um, journal. <laughs> Whatever this thing's called. All right. So I have a piece of one of those old letters and I got looking at that and I was like, I like that just like it is as a pocket. So we're going to do that, but I want to put a piece of, this is just, um, what do you call it? Tracing paper or transparency paper or whatever, whatever you like to say. So how y'all doing? Hope you're fantastic. I've had just one of those weeks where it's like every day I've had to do something. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just life, but it's like... I can't get stuff done, you know, <laughs> when I'm out um, running around. So, anyhow, it's just been one of those. My least favorite types of weeks. You know what? I might need to fold over the edges, so I better give myself some extra, huh? So that I can make a good pocket. That stuff is real crinkly sounding. I'm just winging it. I'm not doing any measuring. As you know, that's kind of just what I do. I like the torn edge, but because it's vellum me type material, I don't want it to tear, um, you know, you know, tear right off of the pocket or something like that. It's just fragile. So we're trying to make it less fragile. Okay, the bottom will have to be folded up too, and then I'll tear it. Let's see, how deep do I want it? I don't want it like the whole entire thing, but let's see. This is what you call winging it, and it's totally crooked and all of that. So if you're more precise than I am, you can totally like measure it all out and everything, depending on the size of your um, letter, you could use book page, you could do a lot of things, and I am going to tear that some more, so if you're going, that looks weird back there, it does, right. <laughs> um, yeah, you could use all kinds of things and put a little piece of transparent paper of whatever kind you have. Uh, they just make kind of fun pockets because they're transparent. <laughs> Yeah, Easter um, is busy for me this year. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Just got lots of stuff to get accomplished before it gets here. I'm not very good at keeping up with this holiday thing at this moment in my life. I'm going to be honest. It's kind of kicking my rear because it's just more stuff to do. Which sounds horrible, right? Yes, I'm a horrible person, <laughs> but I'm struggling to keep up. I mean, I love getting together with family and all, that's all fun. It's just that getting ready. All right, so see, it's just gonna be like that. So you'll still be able to see the writing in there, and I like that. I am gonna put a little strip of um, this decorative up here just because um, I feel like, you know how the writing ends up there, and I don't really love that. Well, I guess it's actually not that bad. Um, it down here. Sorry. <laughs> the brain. The brain's going. Okay, so we're going to put some of these on here. This um, crazy cat hatter, <laughs> whatever, is going to go in this front pocket. So I'm kind of trying to figure out. I think I will put this 
just like across there rather than up at the top. We'll just do some inking and then once I do the like thumb notch, I think it'll be good. And this, I haven't folded over at all either, which I may want to just have a little bit folded up so that it's not just flat wool because it does tear very easily. Just do a small, oh, come on now. Ah. It's all right, because I won't need all of that anyway, but <laughs> it's very fragile old paper. I am enjoying these very much. Thank you, Lorraine. She's so funny. Give me all these. But they are very fun to play with, I have to say. I might have to add a little something to that so that it's, it's together all right. I'm just cutting, you know, an angle because we don't need all of this stuff, all this extra. But I am going to put a little something across here. Maybe I'll just take this little piece and put it right across here just to strengthen that up because I don't want to rip in more. Uh, this journal has been spoken for, so if anything happens where it doesn't go to that person, then, um, then I'll put it in my shop. But otherwise, it's... It's got its home. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Sorry, I get quiet when I'm concentrating. I think you wouldn't have to concentrate on stuff that you've done a million times, but I do. Okay, I'm gonna even that up because I really did a bad job. Just cut a little bit more off of this. So that it's not hanging down. This will be the back and you won't see it. Another thing I should probably put a little bit more paper maybe on the inside of these folds just so they don't tear. Yeah, I think I will do that. Something thin. You know what? I think this will work. Just some sewing tissue. Just a little something, and then with the glue, I think it'll be fine. I don't want it to get really thick or, you know, uh, fat at the fold because it's not going to handle that much. Just going to have a tag in there. I think it's Camilla, Camilla Craft Designs is always saying it's we're not going to have a herd of baboons tearing it apart, and that's very true. I think we forget that sometimes. But you want them to last, you know. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. But she's very right. And I know this obviously isn't like, ooh, so strong now that it's got some tissue paper on there, but you'd be surprised when there's a little glue on there. It will help hold it together. Just, you know, keep it from tearing. It's almost like washi. Oh my word, you guys, my hands are so bad this morning. <laughs> They're so shaky and just, ugh. It's a lot of days where they hardly do it at all, and then other days it's just, wow. I think it's the more wound up I get about stuff. <laughs> okay, I think I'll do it this way. 
it's all that straight either because I didn't fold it straight. Okay. All right, now let's put some ink on there and that will help with that top edge. Just make it more interesting. Oh, I know, I was gonna do a thumb notch. I don't think I want to go all the way through. Sorry, that was loud. The process here, let me tell you, struggle's real. I'm surprised it cut that. It's so um, fine, this paper, that I thought it might just tear it, but thankfully it did not. of our pocket. Crazy little taped scissors. I love those scissors, but the little handles broke on them, which kind of is annoying. But anyway, so I just put tape around them, as you can see. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So let's get this glued together as best we can. Still totally crooked on that pocket. Yeesh. I do ed this edge and the other edge, and that seems to... oh. Yeah, that's right. That seems to work really well. Okay. It's gonna go in there. I like how you can still see it. And I know you can use like double-sided tape and stuff. But um, I like glue better on um, everything. <laughs> Not much of a double-sided tape person. Even when I was doing scrapbooks, I did a little bit. I used a little bit, but I really prefer glue. I think I just like glue and paper. <laughs> If I'm being honest. Oh, I need to ink that, huh? I mean, sort of inked, but not as much as I want. I keep thinking I see somebody outside. I mean, I'm upstairs in the house, but for some reason, out of the corner of my eye. I'm losing it. Okay, so this needs to get backed, but I'm just showing you how that this will go in here, and it's even a little bit see-through. I mean, you're not, you can't see a ton, but it's kind of fun. So just out of some random pieces on my desk, and in my little bowl of stuff I've cut out from my digi. We have a little pocket and some cards, tags. And then I have another idea that I'll show you guys. And it's not really a, a new idea. It's just another thing I'm going to make for the journal. My hubby's home today. He's, um, they're doing like conference meetings and so he's got to be on and off of like zoom all day so he just is doing it from home it's easier so if you hear somebody that's who it is i 
I like it when he's here. It just, it's nice having someone else in the house. <laughs> okay. I might trim that a little bit because it is going to hang over. I ended up covering up a lot of those little doodads there, but that's okay. And these, all these flowers and mushrooms are in my uh, digital, the Entirely Bonkers digital, if you didn't know. And I'm working on because uh, Sue, I think it was, asked me, I believe it was you, Sue, <laughs> oh, brain, um, to do mushrooms and flowers and mushrooms and flowers and butterflies to go with this, like as an add-on kit. And so I am working on that. I was working on another kit, but I think the other kit can wait. I kind of want to get this one done so that those of you that are doing a journal that might not be in time for my journal, but um, can have some more mushrooms and flowers and butterflies. And it won't be a huge kit, but um, just a few pages. But uh, I've been cutting them out and they're looking very good. So I think you guys will like it. And then you, you can use them for whatever too. It doesn't have to just be for this. You can use them for any other um, things you want. I'm gonna fold it and so it'll be like an extra page. Make it wide enough. It's kind of a, a wide ish tag here. And we can trim off whatever's hanging over. And this was um, just tea dyed. I do a very strong tea. Um, it's instant. If you, do, if you haven't seen, I use instant tea that's not sweetened, obviously, <laughs> unless you want a big sticky mess on your hands, because it gets a little sticky sometimes when you stack the papers anyway, so, <laughs> um, yeah. But I, I make the instant tea, like, super strong, so it almost does look like coffee, but it's tea. Because sometimes tea's a little bit too light, like, I feel like... I mean, it, it helps because it definitely gives you kind of that patina, but, um, you know, it's just better to have it a little darker, I feel like. But if you like it light, do it light. We're going to have to do this because one thing about tea dyed and coffee dyed or any dyed paper, it does wrinkle and I don't iron paper. <laughs> I refuse. I don't love ironing clothes, so the chances of me ironing paper are zero. I will put them under a book if necessary, but that's about as close to ironing as I get. So that'll just be some extra writing and it strengthens up my tag and I don't feel like I want to do a whole lot more to this because I like it. Maybe we'll put a, a word or something on there. That would be good, huh? Very cool. I love this paper when it's just got the splotches. Looks good. Need to. Just a little bit. Okay, so what word do we want? I ordered the words from my porch prints and they're um 
in my porch prints. Um, and just get one page, but they're, they're good. Um, I kind of like them better than the, the ones that I got before. I don't know what I want to put in there. Sorry, I'm just reading. Oh, I do like nonsense. That's kind of funny. Um, I can cut. I'm still mad at myself that I forgot Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Maybe if I can get a decent image, I will um, add it in the add-on if I can't it will just be the, the the flowers and all flowers and mushrooms and butterflies from there. That will go in here and we'll and I'll probably put um you know like a tab at the top and then we'll do our little littler card here. I think I might want to put this on some book page. So it's a little bit thicker. And then I'll back that. Oh my gosh, the lid's already off, Amy. Um, back it with some tea dyed. Yeah, this one's kind of weird because it, it's got like a cat head, but then it's got human hands. <laughs> but I love the cat head and the hats. And I tried cutting him out to use him, at, you know, just the head kind of like I did with this one. But, um... It just did, it looked weird. So I'm like, well, I guess everybody will be okay with it. It's Alice in Wonderland, right? I'm gonna put a piece of this on the back. I'll cut the top off first. I'll just cut it to size and then I'll just tear out a piece to put on the back so you can write on it. And crazy seemed appropriate for this. So I have my little crazy there. That's from that other set of words I got. Pin stuck to my hand. <laughs> I should probably put it back in the glue that's dripping all over my table. <sighs> you guys, I'm a calamity, I'm telling you. <laughs> This is why when you add extra things in my life, it becomes a disaster. <laughs> I'm not good at it. Oh, sorry. Hit the light bulbs. I have to do that at least once a video or you guys wouldn't think I was actually filming. that on there or maybe I'll put it on here I kind of like it on there sometimes those glue book pages like to come apart and you know because you just are getting glue here and there you're not getting every corner but lots of times I stitch around them too so it's, that's fine 
but you don't have to stitch. If you don't have a sewing machine, don't like sewing, whatever, you can just have them like that because they're just fine. Let's see, that'll go in there. Right. Peek, peek the eyes out, peek in the eyes. I think I'm gonna put this on this part. Maybe we'll add a couple little cards too. Feels like it needs some cards. I keep losing the one that I already opened. I'm going to open another one. But since my brain can't keep track of anything. Because you get more than one of the little spots. And they come with the little boxes you can fold up and put them into. Um, my friend Nora. Hi Nora was saying she's going to get or got some for her granddaughter. I was like, that's perfect for Barbies. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. You could do it like this too. Something like that maybe would be cute. I don't know if we're going to have time for the other pocket, I guess. This one took me longer than I thought. Which is fine. I just love those old letters and stuff. They're just so cool. There we go. I like that a lot. Hope you guys like it. Super fun. All right, so that I may end up stamping it. I got, I'll have to get my stamps out again with that little guy again, because I kind of like that. Just um, a little on the vellum. But other than that, it's done. So the next one I was thinking of, did I put the envelope? You might just do the pocket and not do um, the tag to go in it yet. But it's one of those old um, envelopes and it's that very like onion skin and it's lined on this part. So what I think I'm gonna do is glue the lining to the front to just help um, stabilize that part because it's super duper fragile. The only thing I'm worried about is you might be able to see the lines. So I'm gonna do this and hope, sorry, I got the pen in my mouth, <laughs> and hope it'll um, smooth it out enough so you don't see lines. I don't wanna glue the envelope together though. Okay, I think we're good. That'll just help kind of stabilize that a bit, I think. But look, it's got a purple stamp and it's that blue, that old, I don't even know what you call this. Is it powder blue? Is it, what is it? I think I'll just leave that. I was gonna pull that out, but I don't want to. I'll just say that's gonna stabilize it more. <laughs> it's the flap is under there, but I can just do like that. And then I'll have a pocket, but this should also be stabilized. So I think I'm going to have to do, let's see. Some of this newsprint I think would work because it's very, th it's thin, but it's sort of like using the, um, tissue, but I think it'll be a little bit better. I'm trying to think, should I put it on the outside? I think I could put it on the outside because it's going to be the back. 
I got tape on there. So like this. I just won't let it stick up out. Get that. That piece is as good as it's gonna get, I think. But people, people never thought we would be reconstructing their envelopes <laughs> to turn into pockets, right? <laughs> it's kind of nutty. Kind of nutty. But they're so cool. I mean, it's just great like it is, you know? Okay, so I think that is better. So there is our pocket. See? Now it's a little more stable, but I like, I want these bits hanging out. I like that. This one might have to go. Okay, and then I am gonna do a thumb notch in that, even though that seems kind of crazy. I'm not gonna cut, I'm trying to think, sorry, if I should. No, I don't think I'm gonna cover that that much. I mean, I am gonna cover it a little bit, because I want some kind of decoration on there. And then I'm just gonna put a little glue in here, because I don't want this tearing. Do some envelope surgery here. I like the flap, so I kind of want it to like be a little more apparent. Or that foldy thing. <laughs> foldy thing. The technical term. Okay. Yes, I like it. Okay. So then I have one of the crazy doilies, and I was going to put it on that side, but I'm kind of liking that side. So I think I might put it on this side. Then I have a teacup and just a tea um, bag string, you know? I thought I had something for that. What was I gonna put on that? Oh, probably a word would be good. Oh, let's do drink me, that's good, huh? Of course. I know it's a little bottle that she drinks, but we're just getting the gist here. And eats the little cake. Let's fit on there. Might need to trim. Yes, it'll fit if I trim it. And I think I'm going to leave the, the black um, background because it would be real hard to, I mean, you could cover it if you were so inclined, but I think I'm just going to do that kind of thing. It works because we've got some black, um, you know, backgroundy things in this too, so... these little weird spots that are tricky. I 
Okay, so I'm gonna cut this string because it doesn't need to be this long, but I do want to have it look like it's in, you know, sort of in the cup. So I'm thinking I might do a little cut in it. Um, I think it'll work if I do it on here. Just a little bitty. Doesn't need to be much. Maybe. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Have to cut it some more. I don't want it to be very big, you know. I don't want it to be a big hole. Oh, the things I do, I know. So I just am partially crazy, I think. Why won't it? Sorry, I'm holding it so I can see it better. And I know you guys can't see, but I'm just trying to get that string back there. There we go, oops, I just got part of it. <laughs> Why? This should not be that hard. <laughs> there we go. All right, that did not need to be so difficult, but it was. Okay, I'll we'll put that on there. And I'm going to put quite a bit of glue because I want to make sure um, it sticks definitely over this part where the little knot is for the string. I do like that those say stash too because, uh, you know, we always talk about our stash. That's the T. <laughs> okay, and then this we're going to put just a little piece of washi. Just to keep it back there, hopefully. I mean, glue works, but. All right, so how much of this do we need? We need, oh, I wanted to tell you guys, I ended up cutting, um, doilies in colors and I've only got you know one grouping of colors so far done because I bought these stacks of paper and once those stacks of paper are gone I'm not going to promise you that I'll keep those same colors I might keep I might still do colored doilies but the same exact colors may not be available is all I'm going to say because you guys know how it is sometimes you find a stack of paper and you're like oh I'll just go back and get another stack and no. So, um, but right now what I have cut in the original doily design, because these ones that I found just take way too long to cut. So I'm using my same design that I've had for the white um, and black and craft color doilies, but I'm just cutting them out in pastels. So right now it's a pack of kind of this color and a darker pink and a super light pink that almost looks white, but it's not white. So those, hopefully by the time this video goes up, because I plan on doing that this afternoon, getting them in the shop, because that's what I did all day yesterday, I cut. So hopefully you guys will like those. And I'll just keep cutting colors, but once a group of colors is out, it's out. And that's just sort of the way it's gonna be. So I apologize if you get there and they're gone. <sighs> it's just one of those things, because like I said, I just can't promise that, um, you know, you're gonna get that exact, or that I'll be able to get the, those um, pads of paper again, because I bought the last two at the store, so. <laughs> I didn't order them. Um, 
from anywhere, so I can't. I just can't guarantee that they're going to be there. So, anyways, that's the dealio. I'm going to end up covering that up anyway after all that, but that's okay. It happens like that a lot. Can take it down to about there, probably. So yeah, I think they'll be good because they're they're pretty. And I just I'm gonna do three colors at a time from the stack, and I you know try to get the ones that go together, that kind of thing. Not that it matters because you probably aren't gonna use the same ones on like the same project kind of thing but anyway all right so there is my pocket and then what I plan on doing is making a card that has the teapot like a tag and then I'll put another tag back in the back too so but then when you take it out you'll still be able to see all this I'm gonna leave that pretty much I might like put like, maybe we could put a piece of this up there. Let's do the blue cup. Um, but yeah, I just got thinking about that yesterday. I don't know why I was struggling so much with those doilies. It's like I felt like I could only do those doilies. It's like you can use the doilies that you already have. I mean, they still take a long time to cut, too. And uh, that's why I only list a few at a time, <laughs> because they they do take a while. But they're not as bad as as these ones. Like you could just cut the ones you have, Amy. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I know it's another teacup, but I, I like it. Well, when you have a tea party, you have more than one teacup, right? Let's see, do we want like maybe a little piece of washi on there? With some flowers. Fingers are stuck together. <laughs> Oh, if you guys haven't been, um, or if you don't know about Dee Dee Farago, you should pop over to her channel as well as Carol's because she's doing tall, skinny journals with all different digitals, um, and she's using a few of mine. She's using the Steampunk and the, um, oh my goodness, um, Holmes Carol's case, so... She's not using this one, but she's using some of the other ones. So pop over there, check out what she's up to because they're looking fabulous. All right, guys, so we did that one and our crazy, crazy one. So that's what we have for now, and I don't know where they're gonna go. I still have to make some cards for that one and I'll probably stitch around that. I'll open it and stitch around it so I don't close my paper. All right, so I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye now.